history keeps repeating itself regarding the Zimbabwean opposition party movement for democratic change. As the country approaches crucial by-elections in March, the opposition has once again suffered yet another split, bringing questions on the credibility of the country's foremost opposition party identity as it is once again under threat. The opposition party has a troubled history of MDC leadership succession personality clashes and disagreements over strategy and first split the party uh, in 20, 2005. Since then, the MDC has gone through several splits, giving birth to over 10 formations. The questions now are, how does this affect the electorate and how does it reduce the opposition party's chances of taking over from long-ruling ZANU-PF? Joining me now from Harare to speak more on the implications of the latest MDC split on the electorate is political and governance analyst Sidix Murad Zikwa. Sidix, good to see you and thanks for your time. Quickly here, how does this latest split affect the electorate's decision-making especially looking at the March by-elections and, of course, uh, 2023 harmonized elections. Okay, uh, first of all, what we have to understand in the uh, Zimbabwean body politic is a lot has been happening since the MDC uh, was uh, formed in 1999. There is a lot of uh, a, a, a splits, but uh, what we have to understand is um, the splits should be understood uh, uh, from a political point of view whereby we say uh, the beauty of democracy allows uh, different ideas to emerge uh, and uh, to come when we are uh, in a political struggle. So it's of no surprise that uh, these um, splits should uh, 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 come and be witnessed uh, within the Zimbabwean uh, opposition body politic. It is normal and it is what we call in political science um, the beauty of democracy. But um, uh, coming back to your question, uh, that um, whether the, the, these splits are going to affect the electorate, uh, certainly not. The uh, Zimbabwean people, they do understand what um, uh, it is like. And, and, and uh, these uh, uh, splits, these MDC uh, uh, splinter groups, uh, some of them, they are just there as a matter of um, uh, pushing forward certain political machinations which are bent on attacking the main opposition group like we all we all know that the main MDC is being forwarded and represented by Nelson Chamisa so these splinter groups they are just nothing when we talk about the Zimbabwean uh, body politics. So, so, so let me, let me, let me like come in here, Sadiq. Uh, uh, apologies for butting in. Uh, let me come in here quickly, Sadiq. Uh, you, you've said that this is, yes. uh, you know, looks like the beauty of democracy, which uh, a lot of Africans will all, all, you know, understand. But some people have also accused the ruling ZANU-PF of causing the rifts in the opposition party. As a political analyst yourself, would you say the incumbent government has a hand in these splits? Indeed, uh, certainly yes. The ruling party has got a huge hand. And uh, uh, quite clearly, we saw last week um, um, the leader of uh, this splitter group, uh, Dr. Tokozani Kupe, she came out clearly and she spelled the beans that um, uh, we are actually funded by the state missionary to cause a disharmony in the main opposition a group, but that doesn't have uh, any space in terms of um, affecting the electorate, in terms of uh, making the uh, uh, the decisions uh, they want. Like I have alluded to before, uh, the the people of Zimbabwe actually uh, decided in 2018 uh, general election, uh, despite having these uh, too many uh, splinter groups. And uh, b before I let you go, Sadiq, uh, would you say there, there is a chance the different MDCs may regroup just before the 2023 elections? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, what I can say is um, we've got uh, different MDC splinter groups, but we've got, we used to have uh, one main splinter group, which was headed uh, by advocate Nelson Chamisa. But right now, today in the afternoon, 
uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa held a press conference where he announced uh, a new name for a political uh, a party. And he stated that uh, a new child, a new kid has been born. And this is no longer the MTC uh, Alliance or the MTCT. This is now the Citizens Coalition for Change. So I don't see any uh, uh, regrouping of the MDC formations in terms of uh, facing um, uh, the, the general elections. But wh what I see is that uh, the MDC has now uh, uh, been born uh, to a new outfit, which has uh, uh, been announced today by the leader, by, by the main leader of the MDC uh, alliance, who was who used to be the MDC alliance. The, 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 the leader is now a Nelson Chamisa, who is uh, heading or, lead, or leading the Citizens Convergence for Change. So, MDC, I think uh, the, the name MDC has uh, been put uh, into obliteration.